Dragon Tales. <laughs> Raise your hand if you've seen or remember Dragon Tales. <laughs> Holy shit, we've got some Dragon Tales fans in the audience tonight. All right, well, for those of you who have not seen Dragon Tales, it's a children's cartoon about dragons who tell tales. <laughs> And they all have these pouches, these biological pouches in front of their tummies, and it's where they keep their magic items. <laughs> all right. Well, I remember being three years old and seeing a dragon pull a full Thanksgiving turkey out of there. <laughs> I feel like that's what gave me ADHD. <laughs> It just left me feeling conflicted and confused for years, so I couldn't pay attention to anything. <laughs> I decided recently to refresh my memory of the show because maybe I missed something. I don't know. So I went to YouTube and I searched Dragon Tails Pouch. Apparently, yeah, there are people who think about that show much more than I do. <laughs> There is Dragon Tales porn. There's no age restrictions on the video. It's just out there. I didn't watch the video. I watched the video. I watched the video. Okay, you know what? I had a gig coming up. It was for research, okay? Don't judge me. I wasn't like jacking off. No, I was not. I was not, I was not, stop accusing me, all of you. I see the look in your eyes. No, I was not jacking off to Dragon Tales porn. I was indeed watching it. This dragon had this huge blue dragon cock that he just kept, he kept it inside the pouch and pulled it out of the pouch. Why was it in the pouch? I feel like if we were to be biologically correct, it would be like swinging below the pouch. Maybe if you get really ambitious, you could take the, the, the dragon cock and stick it in another dragon's pouch, which they did not attempt to do. No one attempted to do that, and I just feel like that was a real missed opportunity. Um, it left me feeling, again, even more conflicted and confused, so. It took a minute, maybe a day, and I took a few deep breaths, and I reflected. Maybe a pouch isn't so bad. You know, maybe we shouldn't judge so quickly. What if I had a pouch? What if I had a giant skin graft, and I was like, this is going to be my storage unit. <laughs> What if I had a pouch? And what if I kept my wallet in there? And what if one day I was mugged? And what if it were put to song? <laughs> Lady, put your hands up. Give me all your cash. Get out your wallet. You better do it fast. I looked around and there was nowhere to hide. But I realized the wallet was deep inside. <laughs> so I said, let me take a minute to reach into my skin pouch. My wallet's gotta be here somewhere. I can't seem to find it. I'll dig a little deeper. Ow, I think I touched my internal organs. Inside. I saw the terror in his eyes. He looked like he was traumatized. And I thought, oh man, this pouch is nice. 
I realize this pouch has a lot of potential. It's time to get experimental. There's a lot of things I could do with this pouch, specifically on my boyfriend's couch. I told my boyfriend, let's give it a try. We had skin pouch sex all night, and I kept my wallet inside the My boyfriend's gotta be here somewhere. I can't seem to find him. His name is Jake and he works in customer service and I think he's been in there for several months. I've put up posters, I can't fucking find him. And that's what it'd be like to have a skin pouch. Thank you so much. She's a model, an entertainer, a comic. I don't want to give too much away, but you're going to be able to see her this fall on Divorce Court. Will you please give it up? 